For Math 98, completing the score for quadratic expression with leading coefficient of one. So the form that we are working with, uh, ax squared plus bx plus c, such that the value of a equals one. Uh, for example, something like uh, x to the second plus say 12x, uh, plus something, whatever that is. And what's the goal here? The goal in here is to, to be able to write this the original expression as a complete score, you know, like x plus or minus something in here, quantity score, that's the goal. So let me go ahead and go to the next page and uh, do a couple of examples. Uh, remember in this video, we need the coefficient of x squared to be one. So how about just how about something as simple as x squared plus 12 x. And the goal, the goal is to have it as x plus or minus something quantity to the second power. So notice that in here, uh, my A is one, my B is 12. And in this case, the C is zero, there is no C. But wouldn't that be nice if I had a C in here, something that I could turn this into this expression. So it turns out that the magical quantity that I need for my C in here to uh, complete the score is one half of B to the second power, okay? So in this case, what is B? B is 12, one half of 12 quantity squared equals uh, one half of 12 is six, six squared is 36. So that's the magical number that I need. So I'm gonna rewrite this here as x to the second plus 12x. I need a plus 36, the magical number that I uh, need to complete the score for here. And since I have an expression in here, I'm not in liberty of just introducing 36 out of thin air. So I have to balance that with minus 36. Now it is balanced. Okay. So completing the score for x squared plus 12 x plus 36, x plus half of b always goes here, in this case 6, quantity squared minus 36. Okay. So now notice that we turned our original expression. Let me erase this. We turned our original expression into something uh, that is that involves a perfect score in here, x plus six quantity score. And you can prove it to yourself that it's the same thing. Look, if I expand x plus six quantity squared, I get x to the second plus six x plus six x plus 36, and here is my minus 36, cancel, cancel, six x and six x gives me 12 x. So notice that we didn't change anything. We just changed the format of our original expression to uh, a perfect score. And let's not talk about why do we need it. Just if, I know you just didn't really know me for that long, just trust me, we need it for our future, um, future math lessons. Let's do another example. Suppose if I have, let's do another easy one, and then we'll do one or two with fractions. How about if I had x to the second this time plus 5x? Okay. Remember that the goal, the goal is to have something, some x plus or minus something quantity score. Okay. Uh, 
And the magical number that I need to achieve that, the magical, uh, say, number is one half of B quantity squared. Where one half of five quantity squared. One half times five is five over two, and five over two squared gives me 25 over four. So the 25 over four is the magical number that I need in here. So let me go ahead and rewrite this as x squared plus five x plus 25 over four. And I'm gonna balance that with saying minus 25 over four, because I'm not changing the value of the original expression. So now using the first three terms, I get x from my um, x from here, half of b is uh, plus five half quantity squared. So, and then here's my minus 25 over four from here. And if you wanna to prove to yourself that this actually is, this actually is the same as x squared plus five x, you're more than welcome to just expand it and um, prove it to yourself that we didn't change anything. Let's do one involving a fraction. Uh, suppose I have an expression with leading coefficient of one of x squared, and let's say now I have minus one half x. Okay. Well, same thing. So what's my, you know, remember then that the magical number that I have is one half of b quantity score. So b in this case is one half. So one half of one half quantity score. That's one fourth quantity score. And that equals one over 16. So the magical number that I have is one over 16. And remember that the sign plus or minus doesn't matter because we are scoring, you know? And if you put negative one half, negative one half times negative one half is positive uh, one fourth. And positive one half times positive one half is positive one fourth. So we don't have to worry about the sign all right, so let me rewrite this as x squared minus one half x. That's my original uh, expression. Then I'm gonna add the magical number that I needed. In this case, plus one over 16. And let's balance it with minus one over 16. So we are not changing anything. Now using the first three terms, x from here, minus one half of one half, one half of B always goes in here. One half of one half is one fourth quantity squared. Okay, this encapsulates all this. And then my minus one over 16. And once again, I do invite you to just, you know, uh, multiply X minus one fourth times X minus one fourth. And then, uh, um, you will get, let me just do it for you, x minus one fourth times x minus one fourth, uh, and then I have a minus one over 16 in here. So notice that here I get x to the second minus one fourth x minus one fourth x plus one over 16, and here is my minus one over 16, my last term. So this cancels out and this equals x to the second minus one fourth of x. Another minus one fourth of x is minus combined together minus one half of x. So notice that we did not change the value of our original expression. Let's do one last one just for the sake of discussion. Suppose I have mm, x squared plus two third x, okay? Once again, 
what is the goal? The goal is to have uh, some x plus or minus something to the second power, have this, this expression in terms of a perfect score. And what's the magical number that I need? Magical number is b over 2 or 1 half of b quantity score. In this case, now I have 1 half of 2 third quantity score. One half of two thirds is just one third quantity score. That gives me one over nine. That's the magical number that I need. So I'm going to rewrite this as x squared plus two third x uh, plus one over nine. And let's balance it with minus one over nine. Now I can rewrite the first three terms as x plus half of b is half of two thirds is one third quantity squared. And here is my minus one over nine. So this was my first video to show um, how to complete the score uh, for a quadratic expression with leading coefficient of one. I'm gonna to need to make three more videos uh, one of them is going to be with leading coefficient other than one for a quadratic expression. And the other two will involve quadratic equations, quadratic equations. So we would have equal sign, a quadratic expression equal, say, zero, equal two, equal five. Okay, I'll be talking to you soon and thank you.